I'm gonna talk about custom, which will allow you to go to any independent company. I actually use custom even to go to Couture um, because I want the flexibility to order through Couture or if the parents decide they want an album as well, I wanna be able um, to do a, you know, a Fineo smaller album for them if I want to or I can also send it through to Couture if I want to as well. So I, I like the flexibility and customization of using custom, um, but if Leather Craftsman's your company and you use them all the time, it's really great to be able to use their plugin and go straight to the company because it will literally wrap those images up, send them straight to the company that you're working with, and they'll send you a book back. So the exporting process and, and all of that just becomes so much easier because you actually order and export all through the plugin. Okay, next is custom. So that's the one that we are going to be working in. Now that you know all of the different options that are out there, let's talk about the one that we're gonna be working with. If you hit custom, um, you'll most likely get this, which is nothing <laughs> on the on this side of here. And you can you can do a new theme, which is what we're gonna do. And this is asking you what you want your book to be titled. We'll just put it put it down as David and Morgan engagement. And then let's hit new theme and I'll show you how to create your sizing. So in the beginning of doing um, albums with this book tool, I used to come in here and I'd be like, oh, I want an eight by eight, and then I'd make an eight by eight. And then I realized, this took me a while, so please learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I realized that um, when I made an eight by eight, if the client decided they wanted to upgrade to a 10 by 10, I was hosed. <laughs> I had to start the design all over. So I scratched that idea and I started to figure out that if I just did a square design, I could make it as large as they'd possibly order and I can always downsize, um, but I can't upsize. So I, I decided to do square in a 14 by 14 size, which is the largest size that Fineo does in square, so that's the largest size I can order, largest size my clients would wanna order. So I did 14 by 14 for the square. And then with image spacing, this, this I clear out to make zero. I want complete control of my image spacing. Um, I want complete control of where I put images. So I'm gonna leave that for zero. And then under margins, these margins are actually um, borders that go around the edge of the page. So each independent page. So there's a, there's a couple ways to think about this, but the easiest thing to do is clear all of these out um, down to zero because what happens is when you go and export your images, you did this beautiful design, it's perfect, and then all of a sudden it has a box around it. <laughs> so it's got a border around the outside. What, what they were intending this for is for designs where they need to cut down the pages, so margins basically. Some album, well all album companies have a certain area of bleed where they're able to trim those designs down. So um, if you want to include some sort of margin, my only suggestion is leave inside at zero always. So this would be your top, this would be your bottom, this would be your outside. And as long as this is set to zero, you won't have borders on the inside pieces. So for some album companies, just to kind of talk you through that for a second, um, album companies will show you where your bleed's gonna be. So if you, um, say they're doing a design like this, actually it would be more for Fineo, I'll show you that one. It'd be more for a design like this because what they do is they sand down the pages after they make them. So they, they basically laminate a photo to each individual page here. They laminate this photo down. And then once they have all of that done and the binding done, they still haven't done the cover, they take that whole thing and they put it in a sander and they sand them all down evenly uh, to give this beautiful finished look. Well, that's really great, but in that process, you lose a little bit of your image, top, 
outside and bottom. So they'll give you basically a safe area. They'll say, you know, this amount is how much you could lose. And that's the tricky question is, um, or the tricky part is really that you could lose that much, but will you is the question. So if you put a margin in here and they sand it down, but they don't sand it down as much as you think they will, then you still end up with a white border here, not as much of a border here, and more of a border at the bottom. I mean, that doesn't look good, right? So I say leave this all to zero, go full bleed just in case, and then just know on your photos that you're gonna lose a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit there, but at least if it's a little uneven, no one will notice.